Losing a spouse is one of the most painful things a person can go through. You are in a state of grief and sorrow as a result of the loss. You might experience numbness, shock, and fear. For being the one who is still alive, you could feel guilty. You might even have anger at your ex-spouse at some point for leaving you. These emotions are all normal. The way you should feel is not governed by any regulations. There is no proper or improper way to grieve. It doesn't matter whether you are 27 or 77, losing the person you've pledged your life to is devastating. And being famous and losing a spouse carries the extra complication of grieving while in the public eye. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video, we are going to talk about 15 famous Hollywood actors who are widowers. Starting off at number 15, we have Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones has stated that four years after the loss of his wife Tanya, he still struggles to comprehend going to bed on his own. The couple had been married for 25 years. Tanya died in 2019 at the age of 53 after a six-year battle with skin cancer. The actor and a former football player confessed that he recently visited her grave on what would have been their wedding anniversary and that he is still in the thick of grief. Number 14. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks will never forget the late actress Anne Bancroft. In his memoir, All About Me, the 96-year-old comedian described his marriage to the star of The Graduate, his lengthy film career, and growing up in Brooklyn. The couple married in 1964 and welcomed son Max in 1972. The couple was married until the actress' death in 2005 from uterine cancer. Mel recalls his late wife's words of wisdom in an interview with People. She always said, follow your heart. It will be a good adventure. What an adventure life turned out to be, he said. Number 13. Damien Lewis. Actor Damien Lewis lost his wife of 13 years, Harry Potter and Peaky Blinders star Helen McCrory in April 2021 at the age of 52 after a private breast cancer battle. He was interviewed by the Sunday Times when his wife died, and he described supporting Helen's cancer as physically draining and semi-grieving. Damien has taken up singing and recorded an album called Mission Creep approximately a year and a half after Helen's death in what he says is a mini midlife crisis. Number 12. Martin Short. Martin Short has had a successful career, but he also had a wonderful relationship with his wife, actress Nancy Dahlman, whom he lost to ovarian cancer in 2010 after 30 years of marriage. The couple, who have three children, Henry, Oliver, and Catherine, met during the run of Godspell in 1972 and married in 1980. While Martin's film and television careers took off, Nancy took a vacation from performing to raise her children. Number 11. John Schneider. John Schneider and Alicia Allian met in 2015 and married in Louisiana in July 2019. The couple joyfully mingled business and pleasure as they produced many low-budget films before shifting into music production, collaborating on over 100 tracks. Sadly, Alicia passed away after a battle with breast cancer in February 2023, at the age of 53. The actor and country singer posted a photo on Instagram of his late partner, who he often called my smile, smiling and giving a thumbs up. My beautiful smile is pain-free, living in her new body alongside Jesus, John wrote on Instagram. Number 10. Rick Moranis. The Honey, I Shrunk the Kids actor Rick Moranis married costume designer Ann Belsky in 1986 with whom he had twins. Sadly, Ann passed away from breast cancer in February 4, 1991, one day before her 35th birthday. Although the newly widowed Rick attempted to continue creating movies for a time, he ultimately decided to quit the spotlight to focus on being a full-time father and took a 24-year hiatus from Hollywood. He has not remarried and he has not been publicly romantically linked to anybody else since Anne's death. Number 9. John Lydon. Nora Forster, the wife of punk music hero John Lydon for 44 years, died on April 6, 2023, at the age of 80, after suffering from Alzheimer's disease since 2018. The tragic news was released the same day by the former Sex Pistols singer's band, Public Image Limited. In an interview with London Sunday Times a few months before Nora's death, John remarked on Nora's Alzheimer's diagnosis. All the things I thought were the ultimate agony seem preposterous now. It's shaped me into what I am. I don't think I'll ever get over it. I don't see how I can live without her. I wouldn't want to. There's no point. John and Nora first met in London in 1975, shortly before he shot to fame when the punk movement burst onto the national stage. She was 14 years older than him and from a wealthy newspaper family, but had been working as a music promoter in Germany and then in London. 
Number 8. Patton Oswalt Comedian Patton Oswalt's first wife, true crime author Michelle McNamara, died in her sleep on April 21, 2016, at the age of 46. The death of the I'll Be Gone in the Dark author was eventually linked to an undiagnosed cardiac disease combined with the effects of multiple drugs including Adderall, Xanax, and fentanyl, according to the coroner. Patton also explained that the couple, who wed in 2005, had no idea she had a condition that caused blockages in her arteries. A year later after her death, Patton remembered his late wife expressing his love by posting two of Michelle's photos with the caption, A Beautiful Friend. She opened up her heart and let me in. The couple had a daughter, Alice Rigney. Number 7. Bob Newhart Stand-up comedian Bob Newhart and his wife Ginny Newhart have one of the longest marriages in Hollywood. However, she died on April 23, 2023 at the age of 82 after a long illness. Bob said in an interview with People that he met his late wife on a blind date set up by actor Buddy Hackett. The two went on a date, and the rest is history. As Hackett predicted, they got married in 1963 and had children together. Number 6. Stanley Tucci Stanley Tucci's wife of 14 years and mother of five children, three of whom she shared with the actor, died in 2009. Kate Tucci had cancer, and her death devastated Stanley. Despite the fact that the couple's marriage had gone through significant difficulties, including infidelity, Kate and Stanley were loyal to one another. His wife's death transformed his life. Kate had been diagnosed with breast cancer before Stanley began filming The Devil Wears Prada. She fought on for four years before succumbing to the disease. Kate's death rocked her family, and Stanley fought to overcome his sadness over his wife's death. He stated in an interview that Kate was the one they hoped would not die from cancer. In 2020, Stanley revealed, It's still hard after 11 years. It's still hard. And it will always be hard. Number 5. Paul McCartney Sir Paul McCartney, the leader of the Beatles, is regarded as one of the most successful composers and singers of all time and he used his gift with words to comfort his dying wife, Linda McCartney. The McCartneys tied the knot on March 12, 1969, with Linda's daughter, Heather, in tow. Paul adopted Heather, and he and Linda had three more children, Mary, Stella, and James. Their love for each other lasted forever. However, Linda was diagnosed with breast cancer after more than 25 years of marriage. She fought it for three years before dying on April 17, 1998, at the age of 56. When Paul McCartney realized his wife's time had come, he painted painted a picture for her of a perfect day. You're up on your beautiful Appaloosa stallion, he told her, according to the Sun Sentinel. It's a fine spring day. We're riding through the woods. The bluebells are all out, and the sky is a clear blue. That was all it took. He had barely gotten to the end of the sentence when she closed her eyes and gently slipped away. Number 4. Steve Buscemi Steve Buscemi and Joe Andres met in New York City's East Village in 1983 when they were neighbors. After years of admiring each other from afar, the couple married in 1987 and welcomed their only son, Lucien, three years later. Their long marriage was happy, and they were supportive of each other's fascinating careers. Despite the fact that the actor was cast in an increasing number of movies that required him to fly to Los Angeles, he and Joe never spent more than three weeks apart. However, Joe was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2015 and briefly went into remission until the disease returned to a more aggressive form in 2017. She passed away from the illness at the age of 65 in January 2019. In 2020, Steve opened up about the death of his wife, Joe. The pain was the hardest thing, the actor told GQ. People who are going through that, it's painful. It's painful to die from cancer. There's just no way around it. He also opened up about his grieving process one year after Joe's death. He said it was difficult cleaning out the home they shared as it now feels too big for him to live in alone. Some days he wants to be alone, but others he is glad for the love and support of his family. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Any support you provide us will help us provide you with more and better content. Okay, now back to the story. Number 3. Pierce Brosnan A horrific tragedy turned Pierce Brosnan's life upside down, and it would take many years and a chance encounter for him to rediscover love again. He met Australian actress Cassandra Harris shortly after graduating from acting school, and they married in 1980, having their son Sean three years later. The Mrs. Doubtfire actor also adopted his wife's children from a previous relationship, Charlotte and Chris, when their father died in 1986, and gave them his surname. 
but their happy life was shattered when Cassandra fell seriously ill and was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, from which she died in December 1991 at the age of 43. Pierce described her death as the longest night of his life while lying by her hospital bedside. Number 2. Liam Neeson Liam Neeson and Natasha Richardson met in the early 1990s, tied the knot in 1994, and were married for 15 years until the actress died after suffering a brain injury during a skiing lesson in Mont Tremblant Ski Resort in Quebec, Canada in March 2009. The loss was heartbreaking for Liam, who has yet to fully accept that Natasha would never return home. The actor told Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes that her death was never real. According to Liam, there were times in their New York residence when he heard their door opening, and any time he listened to the door opening he still thought he was going to hear his wife. The unexpected and sudden accident rattled the entire Neeson family to the core. Michael, Liam's older son, was just 13 when his mother died, and he didn't know how to deal with the immense loss. Instead, the adolescent sought to move on as best he could, escaping through drink and parties. And finally at number one, we have John Travolta. John Travolta and Kelly Preston enjoyed a happy marriage until the actress died in July 2020. The couple met in 1987 while filming 1989's The Experts. They were engaged on New Year's Eve in 1990 and married twice the next year. They welcomed son Jed in 1992 and daughter Ella in 2000. Their youngest son, Benjamin, was born in 2010, the year after Jet died at 16 from a seizure. However, in July 2020, Kelly passed away at the age of 57 after having secretly battled breast cancer for two years. In the wake of her passing, John posted a loving tribute in his wife's honor on Instagram. Since his wife and son's passing, John has honored their memories on special occasions. Recently, he paid tribute to his late wife Kelly on Mother's Day by sharing a throwback video of the actress opening a gift on a previous Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Kelly. We miss you and love you. Love, Ben, Ella, and John, the Grease star captioned the clip. What do you think about these widowers? Did we miss anyone or anything that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time, watchers. Thank you for watching our video.